Hey folks, I want to talk today a little bit about rain barrels. Now here it is, it's, it's uh, just about the 1st of August and it seems to happen every year that we get a drought. We haven't had hardly a drop of rain in about three weeks and this time of year it's it's hot and dry and and it's also the time when our plants are starting to grow pretty vigorously so they're using quite a bit of water. So these two barrels are pretty much dry. There's just a little bit of water left in here and if you can see from the other video that I've made about using totes to do my hybrid hydroponic thing where I'm adding some nutrient solution to these other planters that I've taken offline from this. Really we only have six uh, pepper plants or habanata pepper plants that are being fed by these right now but I still want to add some water to these barrels. So I ran the garden hose up from the summer kitchen up here and I'm going to show you a way that we add water to our barrels that's a, a quick and easy way to, to do it. So what I do is I just take a short, a short length of hose and I put a, a female hose fitting on each end. So that way I can attach one end to my whole elaborate uh, array of, of uh, Y connectors and then of course another Y connector and then I connect it to the garden hose so that way I can just turn the water on and basically I'm just reversing the flow. I'm just backing everything up so water's coming up through the, from the bottom up into each of the barrels. So I'm going to put, oh, I'll fill them up a foot or so and that's really all I need and then we just hope for some rain. I'll take the camera off and we'll, uh, we'll take a walk around this. And then we're going to go look at a store-bought rain barrel system after we look at my homemade job here. I have done some videos of these in the past. These are our two 50-gallon plastic barrels that we got for $10 a piece from a beverage company here in Bemidji. And we have used these for, I bet, 10 years. Not only here, but when we had our store, we had them set up there too. Now, the plus, that's 100 gallons for 20 bucks. That's the plus. The downside is you have to buy all the fittings and then you also get a lot of debris in them because it's, it's much more difficult to keep these clean. I just basically have big holes up there that the water from the gutters flow into. And then our gutters are on brackets that I make that allows me to shove the gutter up underneath, tuck it underneath, so that the snow doesn't pull it off in the winter. So the other downside of using these barrels is that they're translucent. And I get algae growth in there and it gets a little disgusting. I have to, to pressure wash them every year. So we'll take a walk over and look at the, for the first time, I bought a store-bought rain barrel. This is our purchased rain barrel that we just got this spring. It was on sale. It was like 55, 56 bucks. So I couldn't pass it up. 50 gallons. But what I really like about it is I like that it's attractive. It's up here on our deck. You know, so we want something that's decent to look at. It's attractive. It has a screen in the top that keeps everything clean and then it has an overflow. So when the tank is full, the water just goes back down the downspout. So you can do the overflow on either side. There's just a knockout. We chose not to use this side, so we didn't take the knockout out. <laughs> so what I did to install this 
rain barrel is we have a downspout here and I just cut a section out and then I just put a, uh, an elbow here and then just a short piece of, of downspout on here and then I you know I just use some sheet metal screws to secure it so everything's real sturdy and then on the other part I just put the the uh, corrugated tubing that comes with it down into that section of the downspout so that just continues down to the ground so in the in the fall or in the winter I'll take the barrel out I'll drain it down and put it in the pole barn and then I kept this section and I just have a couple of, of connectors so I will just connect that section back in and it'll be just uh, the way it was before so nice features we really like it it comes with with the uh, bulkhead fitting on the faucet which is you know kind of an expensive problematic thing if you're trying to do it yourself and then so what I did is I just ran a garden hose I put a I put a connector a just a, a quick connect on here in case I want to fill some container up here on the deck but then it just runs uh, gravel trucks it just runs into a, a hose down here the hose is down there with a with a, a shut off on it so we just fill our rain barrels or our uh, watering cans with rainwater from down there now this one's about empty now too which isn't a big deal because nothing is connected to it so whether you go with a, a homemade rain barrel or you go with the store-bought ones having rainwater to water your plants is a great thing to have now since I started filming about these things we've gotten probably two and a half inches of rain so actually yesterday it rained all day long first time all summer we've had an all-day rain we got about an inch and a quarter so all of the rain barrels are brim full right now and that's a great feeling we don't have to water the raised beds for a week or so and all of the containers and the hoop houses are full and uh, we should be set for a couple weeks so with that this is mark again with backwood basics let's grow together <laughs>